Welcome to Arch Labs 4.0, you can see it here in the Conky. I've just installed it from my USB on an SSD, so we're no longer on VirtualBox, which makes it a bit easier for me. And we see the wallpaper and we see our desktop here. And we have this tint up here. And so we have four desktops, as you can see, we can use. We can scroll over the desktops as well. And if it's, it's filled with uh, any uh, application, you can scroll over here on the tent or you can press Ctrl, Alt, arrow, left or arrow, right to move from desktop to desktop. So we have four desktops. Why is this wallpaper looking like it is? Because I have two a dual screen. So I'm recording the left screen now and that's why he has um, made the wallpaper as it is now. So let's quickly change that. I go to preferences, choose wallpaper, nitrogen is being launched. This is called wall four. And what I say is not, not do not go full screen, but I have a screen one, which I'm gonna apply. And I have a screen two, which I am gonna apply. And that's the normal look. So this is the look you get. And that's, that's how it's supposed to look. And then we're off to figure out how this system works. So the things that matter is uh, how to, to start um, applications, so the menu, right mouse clock, uh, click on the desktop will show you a pop-up, a menu from OpenBox. This is actually an XML file, meaning you can go and edit this file and this is going to be the label, the terminal, execute me termite. So that's this thing here, the label, execute termite. So that's uh, how it works. Right mouse click anywhere. If it's filled with uh, applications, you press super key spacebar and you have it as well. And there's another one which is Control Alt Q, whatever you prefer, and you have the menu. Now that's one menu. Another interesting menu is uh, with Super Shift D, which is the D menu. You can start typing and, and figure out what it is, for instance, printing. I want something to have, uh, is there an application about printing or is there an application about XFCE4 and these are all the XFCE4 applications that are on there and um, that's how it works. So that's another way to get to the applications and then last but not least you want to stop from time to time, you want to quit and that can be done here, lock screen is another option, exit. You can cancel, log out, restart, shut down, suspend, hibernate or lock. So that's a nice uh, button. And we can also, uh, with Super X uh, applies as well for X for exit or something like that. So you remember. And then you can stop the system as well. You can see here a lot of shortcuts, but there are even more than that. You just press here, display key bindings in your windows, maybe the most interesting one and you can scroll through it and just figure out which ones you're going to use and which one you're not going to use or change because you can change anything. You can just go to preferences, open box and our shortcuts are in here. So anything you want to be changed, if you don't want CAK to be execute the OB key like so, well then if you have to change something. So that easy. It's a uh, changeable here it's also changeable via other tools but that's for another tutorial you can change your key bindings here menu editor config tool all kinds of uh, tools to change your system that's uh, for the a starter as an overview so we have tint here on the top we have a conky at the right all programs are working variety is also loaded so for wallpapers a switcher and provider of wallpapers we changed the background and we went to look for the menu and the shortcuts. Okay, other tutorials will follow. Just uh, keep I'll keep posting.